Okay. I got my green dragon production. Yes, I do want that. I got my dream green dragon production online. And you know what that uh, bow means? That means I shouldn't upgrade to sharpshooters anymore, the great elves, because double shot, I believe, is going to do more damage than, um, than the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter, I think, has more damage, just base damage, but it's not, it's still not going to be good enough. Captain Velita has been riding next to me for five days now and she's never said more than three words to me yet at any time. I've tried to strike up a conversation on a few occasions, but she seems uncomfortable talking to me, or is it talking in general? Today I discreetly asked if any of the elves in my ranks knew Velita. Unfortunately, no one could help me. She remains a mystery. The kingdom army strength goes to the Rust Dragons, obviously. That's fine though, I have clearly the better hero. Stronger mage, not by that much, and much better at, you know, boosting the creature stats. I have more heroes somehow. I doubt that really matters, but okay. He has goddamn rust dragons, I don't know how to deal with that. I guess next week we attack. That would be the logical conclusion. <laughs> you can't let an advantage build up too long, otherwise it's just gonna bite you. And building up Rust Dragons is an advantage, just straight up. Clancy, um, get back here so we don't waste time recruiting stuff. And go get this, I guess? I don't know what that does. I forget what it does. It's one of those pendants that I really don't care about. Pendant of Dissipation, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Aspen was sipping tea, minding his own business as I walked by. I thought I was going to be able to avoid a conversation with the elderly spy, but I was wrong. I see you've de developed an interest in our fair Captain Valita, Aspen said. I looked around to see if anyone was close enough to hear, but I shouldn't have bothered. Aspen always had a way of talking when no one else could possibly hear. Have you finally realized? Oh, wait. Have you finally realized that I'm always right? Aspen asked with his usual cocky grin. No, the only thing I've realized is I wish I had a wise advisor and not an arrogant one. Aspen laughed despite the insult. It's not arrogance, my friend, it's confidence. You have the same confidence in your battle skills. You have been victorious so many times that I wager the thought of losing doesn't even enter your head. Well, I have been right so many times that I have stopped considering the possibility that I might be wrong. I rolled my eyes and immediately removed myself from my advisor's presence, but later I thought about Haspen's words. There was a time when I did consider myself incapable of losing a battle. In the end, I was wrong, but it took a sword in the gut to teach me that lesson. And even now, I realized that I hadn't considered the possibility that I might lose my fight against Matari. If she gains control of all the world's dragons, how could I possibly win? By killing all the dragons, I assume. If it comes to that, that is literally going to be the only way to win. There's, there's no two ways around it. No, that's for next week. Thanks, though. Uh, harpy hags! A whole of RPs and harpy hags. I don't think they got anything on my dragons. Sup? I have no mana. That's great. Cool. I got this. No worries. You could have bunched up a little better than that. Jeez. Oh, I'm in range of you. It's not like they're capable of damaging me or something. Oh, I didn't get close enough. You're actually gonna kill that.
There we go. This passion, not dissipation. Berserk spell. Is that a thing that I should be afraid of in this situation? I don't know. Oh, hey! Kind of needed that. What is the quest for? What does? Why does everyone think he can kill green dragons when they have 20 more attack and defense? I don't know. They just do. Kind of silly peoples like that. Silly dogs, I guess, in this case. Oh, man, we got close stuff. Unfortunate. Oh. Surprisingly, not good enough to kill something. Might have to do with having 20 more attack and defense. Turn base metals to gold by am short of materials for my workshop. What do you give me aside from being grateful? Because that's kind of why I would do it. Is for reward. So Well I'm still around. No. 30 crystal, what? I don't want 30 crystal, are you crazy? Um I doubt they're gonna kill me. Please level up so I can get better tactics. You know, tactics that allow me to cross the entire field. I kind of wish I had that. Whatever. I'm sorry, dwarves. I I'm not. I'm just not good enough to cross the entire field in one go. Kill three dwarves. Not bad. I mean, dwarves are pretty sturdy and everything. Okay, what does this do? That was my biggest question when I looked at the map. What does this actually do? Actually, you're going to get these two while he actually gathers the troops them forward. We are going to be attacking this week, in theory. Unless it's a terrible mistake. If it turns out to be a terrible mistake, I'm just... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, the dispassion thingy. <laughs> Shortly after you knock on the gate in this tower, the door flies open, and a middle-aged cleric steps out with his hand clenched to his side. Whoa! Don't you have better things to do than knock on my door all day? Sorry, I was just hoping to pass through. Oh, you want to pass? Like I don't have a tower here for a reason. Maybe you like sitting in this tower all day, letting just anybody through for no more reason than they want to. I'm gonna be guarding this best. Oh, what do I look like? Well, not a kindly priest, but a priest nonetheless. Funny man, how are you a comedian? You take a deep, deep breath, hunting down your own anger and ask, What are you so mad at? I lost something, is that alright with you? Most of the stickers know my business. I've been tearing this place down. Okay, this is annoying. I don't want to read that. Oh, you need to be... No, not quite yet. I actually want... Uh my reinforcements to catch up with me, and once they do, I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. I'm gonna have five dragons and some other Avalian troops that don't really matter too much. Yeah, we're pretty much done here. There is, not, there is nothing else for me around here. Well, I guess you could go back and go get a dragon while you're at it. Since your reinforcements are gonna be this late. I mean, they have a little ways to travel after all. Give me that. Oh, wait. <laughs> Goes the other way. Thanks. Bye. Hopefully, this, this doesn't trap Tarnum there. 
that's done on. Leave it. All but one. Five. Stay there. Forty-five is not bad. Okay, let's go kill Rust Dragons. Why don't we? Oh, I know why. Because it's really, really difficult. Yeah. Hopefully they haven't been able to recruit too much. Hopefully. I'm not, like, 100% convinced that's going to be the case. Knowledge. Awesome. Another hopefully would be... Hopefully... Oh, hello. When we stopped at midday to water the horses, I took the opportunity to stretch my muscles and run around the camp. To my surprise, I ran past the supply wagons and saw Captain Velita talking to my master of supplies, Kerbal. They seemed friendly toward each other, although Velita still took the short end of the conversation, but that's just Kerbal being Kerbal. I don't think I've ever heard a word come out of Kerbal's mouth that wasn't a complaint, so it was equally startling to see the dwarf calm, even joking with the woman. Oh, it's almost like she understands logistics! Joke's on you, she's the only one that doesn't have that skill. <laughs> that just makes the game silly a little. Whatever. Story being silly is just the story being silly. Um, bye. Well, I'm gonna fly in. That way, you don't have access to it. I wonder how many rust dragons it's gonna have. Depends on how many rust dragons. Oh, but I don't get tactics. You're annoying me. You know that? God damn it. See, this is one of the rust dragon dwellings. And his castle's over here. You wanted to see me, Kevin said. It was the end of a long day and the dwarf appeared tired. Have a seat, this won't be long. I should hope not. I still have a few things to do before I retire. I don't have the luxury of lounging about and doing nothing all day. No, just a quick question. I was wondering what you can tell me about Captain Velita. Do you know her well? The dwarf's expression turned suspicious. Why? She's one of my captains and she talks very little. I'm curious. I'd like to know the people I command. You don't come around asking about me. <laughs> he had me there. Besides, she's a good ranger, one of the best. That's all you should care about. Yes. This hasn't. This hadn't gone as I expected, so I ended it. One thing was for sure, though. Carbon did know Velita, or I wouldn't have seen his protective side. So, was what was this loyalty he felt toward the other woman? Is that really your business? Well, at least I got a better you. Those are rust dragons. I don't want that to pile up too much, so... We're gonna deal with it. I'm actually just gonna end the, the map. I'm not even gonna get all the stat bonuses and whatnot. I just don't want to deal with this. Imbalance. I just don't feel it. Only two. That's not too bad. So he hasn't flagged anything else. It's Probably not get out of that, really. And the dwarves just did not care. You know how much damage I do with implosion? A lot. That's 1500 HP, by the way. That stack. When it's at full HP, you had lost about 5 HP from the dwarves. <laughs> uh, yeah, good try. I could try with a meteor shower, but the dwarves are going to carry me through. Because I still have mana, you don't. Well, you do, but I mean, these are going to carry me through, as I said. Oh, dude, good job. Ow. <laughs> Pretty durable stuff. But that's just my stats. Awesome. He doesn't have a lot of harpies, does he? He sent them all to guard the dispassion thingy. <laughs> but it doesn't work? Try again! <laughs> That's not it worked. Alright, 250. Do I have that with this? No, not quite. 
close though. Dang. Kill him. Doja had good enough. Really? You go faster than... Okay. I have dragons and you don't, so I win. That's all there is to it. I just didn't want to deal with it, okay? Okay. Too bad with the story. Maybe that was the map he learns to trust her, but I doubt it. I think it's going to be take a little more time. But, um... Yeah, I think maybe Valita is just having a hard time. Don't make it harder. Anyway, next time, map number five for Rio. I know I said that at the end of the last map. I forgot what map we were on because it took so long to get through map three. Anyway, uh, see you all there.